Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a mop fly. Solid attractor pattern, good for searching water. It's a very effective fly. Love it or hate it, it does work. So, we're going to start with an A-Rex FW541 hook in the vise. This is a size 10. You can tie this fly size 8, probably all the way down to 16 or 18. So... Go ahead and wind some thread right behind the bead. And for thread, we're using Unithread in the color Camel. It's brown, contrasts the tan mop fly. We're gonna tie well. So go ahead and lay down a thread base, probably about 20% of the shank. And from there, make a few more wraps. And we'll move right into some UV Galaxy Mop Chenille. It's the color tan. You can tie this fly in any variety of colors that you like, but tan's nice. It's a natural, uh, you know, color that you find out there in nature. So clip yourself off about three fourths of an inch, and it'll vary depending on the hook size you're using, but it'll fit this size 10. So the first step is to expose that thread core of this chenille. So when you tie it in, it's not going to be uh, big and bulky. A pin trap, and then just a couple tightening wraps. We'll get that secured, and you want the tail to be about eh, a hook and a half, or a hook shank and a half or so. We'll trim that up just a little bit, and then once we get it trimmed, you'll notice that this uh, chenille, when you cut it clean like that, You'll lose fibers if you fish it like this. So we're gonna get in there with a lighter and just touch it. And that seals everything off, makes a more durable fly, and it also kinda completes a more worm-looking appearance. And it's a good crane fly imitation. Crane fly larva, that is, so it's a solid one to have. From here, we're gonna move and do some ice dub. This is the color uh, brown. Good, you or good uh, sparkle in there, and uh, the brown kind of contrasts the tan there. And all of the materials that we're using today can be found at tridentflyfishing.com. And orders over 49 bucks do ship for free. So if you want to tie some mop flies, got everything you need there. So loosely apply your dubbing, and then we'll just start winding that thorax or collar. And we want to get this nice and loosely wrapped, so you get that buggy profile with, you know, whether they're legs, fish view them as legs, or whether it's just a, a buggy look that they like. I'm not sure, I haven't spoken to a fish in a while. But either or, you want that buggy appearance. And if you like what you see, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of these videos in the future. So once you've wrapped your collar, you just go right ahead, make a few wraps behind the bead, and throw a whip finish in there. This fly is done. I want to thank you guys for watching. That is a mop fly, and I will see you next time.